Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you 2016's Attack of the Killer Donuts. Yes, this is a movie. I know! Didn't, didn't get donuts and eat them while I watched this. Uh, I got chocolate honey buns. But that's not the point. So before I get into that, let me remind you all folks that every thousand subscribers, I pay to have a pound pulled out of, pound of trash pulled out of the ocean from the company 4 Oceaneer. So if you could support this channel by commenting, liking the videos, subscribing if you haven't already, or mentioning me on your social media, it would be much appreciated. Come on, guys. I know you're out there. We're almost at uh, 2,300 subscribers now, so there have to be some of you out there. Looking at you. Anyway, so yes, this is a cheesy horror comedy. What you have is the world's biggest oblivious D-bag. He has a girlfriend that uses him for money and bangs other dudes. His best friend is banging his mom, and the hot chick's he works with, is still willing to sleep with him, but he's too dumb to see it. Then his genius weirdo uncle creates zombie potion, which gets into the donuts at the donut store he works in, and donuts start eating everybody! Oh, the special effects are terrible. Oh, they're so terrible. Oh, yes. It's a great movie everything you expect out of Attack of the Killer Donuts. It is cheesy, silly, stupid fun with um, terribly rendered donuts and a reasonable amount of poop and fart jokes. So if that's what you're looking for, obviously, must watch. I mean, you know, I, I love these little, you know, know-nothing comedies, and I, I do have to say that, yeah, I mean, it's free on Amazon, and I would say go check it out. There are some slow parts, and this is this is not a movie that you absolutely have to watch. Again, it's silly fun. It's the kind of movie that's best enjoyed with other people. I know that's kind of hard right now. But it's certainly worth putting on your list. I mean... This is an unrated film, and they did not use the unratedness. This is a PG-13 at best. There is no nudity. There is talk about sexuality. You know, and of course, the uh, there there is a scene where the guy's quote-unquote girlfriend is banging her side dude in the car, but you don't see anything. And I mean, you know, again... There is a lot to be said about this movie. Mostly that it's a low-budget, funny horror film that, you know, really, we should support these people. Because they're going to make the movies that don't bore us to death. I mean, you know, does it have some pacing issues? Yeah, I guess it does. There are a few scenes that are slow and really... You know, they don't need to make the plot element of uh, the guy's mom and, and his best friend and the girlfriend using him for money. You don't don't need both of those. It's a little redundant. But, okay, it's not detracting from the story in any, any major way. So I would say put this on your watch list, especially if you're ever going to have another bro night. Definitely watch this with your bros. Uh, you know, get some beer, get some pizza, or perhaps some coffee and some donuts. And munch away. I'm Richard. That's right, Randall the Rat here, and I'm back. Despite your best effort to be lazy, Richard, the owner of this channel, is still going to pay for a pound of trash to be removed from the ocean for every thousand subscribers 
after he gets monetized. He's paid for two pounds. He wants to pay for more. He wants to save the ocean at no cost to you. And what do you have to do? What do you have to do, lazy, disgusting, delicious human? Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you have to like. Like this video and comment on it. And encourage people to subscribe. Randall the Rat. Could you come over? I mean, you just, you look delicious. You know, come over. Maybe don't comment on this video, because then people will know you came over, and then I'll eat you, and they'll know. Mmm. Haven't had human in a while.